Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and Mac 20 Questions and today I'm going to look at noise removal in Final Cut Pro. So let's drag and drop this audio clip onto the timeline. So we've got some sound in here and let's just play that, see what it sounds like first of all. Make a test with recording the voice and seeing what you can do to remove hiss on Final Cut Pro and I think it's possible. So let's have a look, see what we can do with it. So as you can tell, we've got a bit of hiss there and we're going to see if we can clean that up a little bit. So the first thing to do is to choose what we're going to do it with. We could use this AU filter. This is AU stands for audio unit. And these are the ones that come standard with the operating system. So let's just drag that and drop it onto there and see what we've got. So we've got our AU filter in place now. And what we're going to do is look at the HUD. We're going to look at the HUD for the AU filter and see what we can do. So let's put this back to the start. Let's start playing it and uh, fiddle with some of the uh, settings on this. Make a test with recording the voice and seeing what you can do to remove hiss on Final Cut Pro. And I think it's possible. That's second one there so seems to make more difference do with, with it. getting rid of the hiss. I'm going to do it fairly subtly so you don't alter the sound of the voice on there. So let's just go back to the start and make a test with recording the voice and seeing what you can do to remove hiss. So that's what it's like with the filter applied to get rid of the hiss. It's obviously changed the sound of the voice a little bit. And what we'll do is just turn that off first of all and see what it sounds like without the filter. And then we'll put it back on and see what it sounds like with the filter. Make a test with recording the voice and seeing what you can do to remove hiss. That's without the filter. On Final Cut Pro. And I think it's possible. And that's with the filter. So, so that's not too bad at all now, is it? it? You can, of course, put more than one filter on at a time, so it might be that you'd like to use something else instead. So you could use the denoiser on it. So what we'll do is we'll check and put that one on there. Let's bring up the HUD for that, the HUD. Here's our denoiser. Put that over there. And let's just give it a play and fiddle with some of the settings on this and see what we need to do. Okay, so press play. Final Cut Pro, and I think it's possible. So let's have a look, see what we can do with it. I can test the recording the voice and see what you can do to remove hiss. Well, we've totally messed that up, haven't we? Let's change that, move pro. this down and a bit. I think it's possible. So let's have a look, see what we can do with it. Okay, so you can change the type of noise that you're working with here. Let's put it back to the start. So I can test got. with recording the voice and seeing what you can do to remove hiss. I think it's possible. So let's have a look, see what we can do with it. That's the filters turned off. Take that to about 60 on there. Bring it back to the start again. Make a test with recording the voice and seeing what you can do to remove hiss on Final Cut Pro. And I think it's possible. So let's have a look, see what we can do with it. So with that one there, when we was changing this, we we're actually altering the sound of the voice to a certain extent and adding extra sounds in there. So I don't think it works quite as well as this filter and using these things here. So let's just uh, play it one more time. Let's go back to the start. I'm going to turn the denoiser off for now and let's work with just this AU filter. Let's press play. Make a test with recording the voice and seeing what you can do to remove hiss on Final Cut Pro. And I think it's possible. So let's have a look, see what we can do with it. That's using the AU filter. This is using the denoiser. Make a test with recording the voice and seeing what you can do to remove hiss on Final Cut Pro and I think it's possible so let's have a look see what we can do with it and that's with them both together so there you go it is possible to do some filtering using Final Cut Pro using these AU filters and uh, denoisers and stuff like that and you will find that you're gonna have to mess about with the settings on these and uh, have to play with them it does look quite daunting I must say when you look at threshold reduce and noise type then looking at things like frequency time and transition on the smoothing time and it's kind of a bit hard to know exactly what to put into these but this one here looked fairly easy to do i started off over this end of the uh, graph brought this one down didn't do that much to it but then i took this one and that one changed the sound sufficiently and it works quite well so i'm quite pleased with the way that worked it out of course the best thing to do will be to do a good recording in the first place without any hiss there but sometimes you don't have the chance to do a re-record and you have to do the best you can with what you've got. So there you go, some audio filters in Final Cut Pro.